Hello folks, a new trading card game is out for Genshin and is actually very fun. It was definitely more surprising than I first expected. And one of the reasons I really like it is because there's no pay to win. All the rewards are from fighting NPCs. You can fight other players, but that's just for fun. So you don't have to worry about whales blocking you from progressing. And at first the game is pretty easy, but as you get higher levels, the enemies will have stronger cards than what your base values are which helps balance out the AI not being the smartest. Anyway, in this video, I want to showcase my three favorite teams that I really enjoy playing thus far. The first one is a Yoimiya Vaporize team. Yes, I know it's Yoimiya again, but I'm not just any Yoimiya sim. I actually use her on my main team and in the card game. Her best team in the TCG matches her best combat team as well, with a Xing Chou on the same team. And for the third slot, you want Mona or Barbara. Essentially, you want a character that's normal attacks does elemental damage that can react with Yomiya's Pyro. For this team, you always want to pick Xing Chou as your active character. Your goal is to get him to use two abilities so you can use the burst. It doesn't matter if you use his normal attack or elemental skill. After using his burst, switch to Yomiya and don't worry about rushing because his burst lasts for 3 uses, so if you don't normal attack with Yoimiya, then the rain source does not deplete. After swapping to Yoimiya, you want to use her elemental skill, which increases her normal attack damage by 1 and makes it pyro. You want her normal attacks to affect an enemy with pyro, and then Xing Chou's sword will do vaporize damage. In this game, Yoimiya's E lasts for 2 normal attacks, so take your time planning those out. Your next goal for this team is to use Yomiya's burst, but you don't want to use it right away. You want to use it at the beginning of a turn. And you'll need to swap to a caster after using her burst, so it's best to prep other stuff before using her burst. When the crane returned, it's an excellent card to play the turn before using her burst. This card lets you pull your energy in an earlier turn, so you can have the most amount of elemental dice ready for the all-out attack. Yomiya's burst is different than the rain swords, it doesn't last for a number of uses, it lasts for 2 turns. So the more normal attacks you get out in those 2 turns, the stronger your team will steamroll. Your immediate burst is going to cost 3, switching will cost 0 or 1, and then your caster's normal attacks will cost about 3 each before it buffs. Other support cards that can help out is Ellen, who will reduce your normal attacks cost since you'll be using it more than once, and there's some food items to help reduce the cost even more. The reason that this is my favorite team so far is because the damage is constant. After you use Xing Chou's burst, you do a lot of damage with Yoimiya's vaporize, and then Yoimiya's burst adds a lot of damage to your third character's reactions. So once you set this up, you steamroll for the whole fight. The second team I like does automatic elemental reactions. This team consists of Fischl, Sucrose, and Ayaka. The game plan for this team is to have Fischl summon Oz right away, and then switch to Sucrose and use her burst. Both attacks from Sucrose will swirl enemies, so you get extra damage along the way. I can do it. Her elemental skill forces the enemy to swap, but the AI changes characters all the time anyway, so I don't think forcing a swap will help you that much unless you're fighting another player. Anyway, keep using Sucrose until you get her burst out. And since her burst lasts for 3 turns, the fun part begins. The reason why Ayaka is here is because when you first swap to her, her passive makes her normal attacks do cryo damage. So on the turn you swap over, try to land two normal attacks to get some extra superconduct in. And superconduct is a very good reaction since it does extra damage to the active enemy and both standby units. So this team does a lot of swirl and superconduct, so you'll be doing AoE damage for the whole fight. And also, Fischl and Sucrose has abilities that summon units that do damage at the end of the turn. And not only that, Ayaka's burst also does the same thing. So even though you won't be doing big single hits, you'll be doing a lot of hits. And usually by the time you get enough energy to use Ayaka's burst, the enemy is pretty much dead. The third team I like is a quick swap team with Kaya. His burst is very unique. Every time you switch characters, it will do damage. And so far, no other characters have something similar to that. Your game plan for this team is to use Kaya's burst right away, then swap to Kaching. A lot of other characters work as well, but I choose Kaching because there's extra synergy. 
Her elemental skill adds a lightning stiletto card into your hand. When you play this card, Kaching will use her elemental skill again, and when she's not the active character when you play this card, she'll be swapped in. So that's another free swap to proc Kaya's burst. And since this team has some units with 3 energy cost burst, these two supports from Li Wei will help you out with the energy. Both of them will give you extra energy at the end of your turn, so it will speed up your burst, and Kaching's burst hurts a lot. Her burst just did 11 damage in one turn. And to make swapping even cheaper, you can use the Dawn Winery location card to reduce the swapping cost to zero once per round. So those are my three favorite teams so far. Let me know what kind of teams you have created in the comments below. I'm super interested in hearing what everyone's building. And before I go, here are some extra tips on building a strong team. I really recommend choosing two characters with the same element because that gives you access to use extra cards that have pretty strong effects, such as 3 extra damage from pyro reactions, give you another energy to your burst, or even heal you if your team lacks healing. I want to help. You can also benefit from two characters that need the same element by using the upgraded artifact set. This set reduces your skill by 1, but at the beginning of every round when you roll for your element, you are guaranteed 2 dice that matches your main element. This is pretty much the same effect as the Jade Chamber. And Timaeus and Wagner are both very resource efficient cards. You save so many elemental dice if you have multiple artifacts and weapons. And the weapons help a lot. Not only does it add damage, but the sacrificial weapon gives you an elemental dice when you attack. And the Firestar weapon also adds very strong effects. And when you play the Blacksmith or Timaeus early in the game, you can pretty much equip the strong weapons and artifacts for free. Anyway, those are my favorite teams and some major tips to help you along the way. I hope you folks are enjoying the trading card game as much as I am. Thanks for watching, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and as always, have fun out there traveler.